annual value nil less deduction under section 24 under that 30 percent value nil interest on loan if it is given only we take that interest on loan less municipal tax municipal tax is 8000 balance you will get is 1 lakh 12000 1 lakh 12000 is called annual value so from that deduct 30 percent of annual value actual rent received is how much 3000 from all three you know units so into 12 months total you will get 36000 right 36000 Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session, session number 3 on unit number 4 that is income from house property. So dear students, in the previous session we were solving few problems with respect to income from house property and we also got to know how to compute the gross annual value, how to compute the annual value and also how to compute the old problem if they give all the information with respect to computation of income from most property. So in this session also we are going to continue with the solving of problems with respect to income from house property. So far we have solved six problems in the previous session. So now problem number seven, Mr. Arish owns two houses. The particulars of two houses for the previous year 2000. 22-23 are given below. Yes, here Mr. Arish is owning two houses that is house 1 and house 2. Okay, he having two houses with him. So, he is let out one property. He let out the one property and another property is self-occupied. So, here the starting itself they had given the information that use of house. So, use of house is nothing but the first one you can see here self-occupied property the house 2 is let out property house 1 is self-occupied house 2 is let out property so municipal value is given fair rent is given rent received is given standard rent is given municipal taxes paid by mr arish is also given and interest on loan for construction of house is also given in the problem so here Interest on loan for construction of house, it is particularly and clearly mentioned. The loan is taken for the construction purpose. And municipal tax paid is given. Is nothing but just municipal tax paid. They are not mentioned whether it is paid by Mr. Arish or whether it is paid by the tenant. So who is called tenant? The person who is staying in a rented house, that person is called tenant. So here they have not mentioned that whether the Municipal tax is paid by the tenant or whether it is paid by the owner of the property that is by Mr. Arish. So, you have to assume that if nothing is mentioned, you have to assume that the municipal tax paid given in the problem is it is paid by the owner of the property that is here Mr. Arish. So, by using this information, you are supposed to compute the income from house property from house 1 and house 2 by Mr. Arish. So, let us solve the problem. Computation of income from house property for the assessment year 2023-24. So, if to solve this, we require three columns that is particulates, amount, amount. So, we need three columns that is particulates, amount, amount. So, first we go with house 1 that is self-occupied property, right? House 1 is what? It is self-occupied. It is clearly mentioned in the problem itself. House 1 is self-occupied property. So, for self-occupied property, what is the format? Annual value nil, less deduction under section 24, under that 30 percent value nil, interest on loan if it is given, only we take that interest on loan. So, annual value, as I said, it is nil. Okay. Next, less interest, less interest under section 24, less interest under section 20. Four. So, what is the interest given in the problem with respect to house 1? Interest given with respect to house 1 is 30,000. So, take this 30,000 in the problem here. 30,000 is loss from self-occupied property because he is not earning any, he is not earning any profit. Okay, he is not earning any profit because he is not earning any rent. The house is occupied by the owner itself. If it is occupied by the owner itself, then how can he, you know, uh, earn the rent? No, 
how can you earn the income not possible but still he paying some interest on the loan so that interest amount is a loss for him in the house where he is staying that is in the self occupied property so this 30000 is a loss so we show this 30000 loss as loss from self occupied property house to that is let out property so house to is a house to is let out property that is lop in short we call it as lop let out property so gross annual value we got rupees 1 lakh 20000 here so we see in the problem how we got 1 lakh 20000 so municipal value and fair rent okay municipal value and fair rent of house to in these two which ever is high so which is the highest one here yes 90000 compare that with the standard rent so standard rent is 65000 compare 90000 with 65000 which ever is low so which is the lowest one yes 65000 compare with the rent received rent received is nothing but actual rent so 1,20 65 which ever is high so which is the highest amount yes obviously it is 1,20000 so that is how we got 1,20000 as the gross annual value less municipal tax municipal tax is 8000 Balance you will get is one lakh twelve thousand. One lakh twelve thousand is called annual value. So from that deduct thirty percent of annual value. One lakh twelve thousand into thirty percent. How much you will get? You will get thirty three thousand six hundred. And interest is also given for house too. What is the interest? Yes, it is forty thousand. So deduct those two. The total will be your seventy three thousand six hundred. So deduct that seventy three six hundred from one lakh twelve thousand. You will get the balance of. Thirty-eight thousand four hundred. This thirty-eight four hundred is your income from house two. So set off this loss of thirty thousand from income of house two. So what is the balance you will get? You will get eight thousand four hundred. Eight thousand four hundred is called what? Income from house property. Income from house property. So this is how you are supposed to solve if they give you self-occupied and let-out property together. Fine. We continue with the next problem. Problem number eight. Shri Lakshmi is the owner of three houses. Lakshmi is the owner of three houses. The following are the particulars of properties for the year ended thirty first March two thousand twenty three. So here Lakshmi is owning three houses: house one, house two, and house three. Purpose of house. So for what purpose all these three houses are used? So house one is used for let out to banks. That means it is also let out for rent purpose. Next. house 2 it is self occupied that means it is occupied by shri lakshmi only and house 3 is three residential units let out in house 3 only had three residential blocks so all three residential houses are let out now actual rent 15000 for house 1 house 2 as it is self occupied obviously will not get the actual rent for self occupied Next house three one thousand per unit because we have three houses in house three. Okay, we have three units of residential houses in house three. So one thousand per unit total you are receiving three thousand per month from three units. Right, you are receiving three thousand per month from three units. Next municipal value sixteen thousand, twelve thousand, thirty thousand is given. Total municipal tax is given. It is thousand six hundred, thousand two hundred. And three thousand, and in total municipal tax, Sri Lakshmi paid eight hundred for house one, thousand two hundred for house two, and three thousand for house three. And tenant paid eight hundred for house one, house two is nil, house three is also nil. Next, fire insurance premium they are paying two percent, two percent, and two percent. Okay, they are paying two percent on the municipal valuation on all the three houses. Next interest on loan house one is nil house two is seven thousand house three is also nil. So compute taxable income from house property of Sri Lakshmi for the assessment year two thousand twenty three twenty four. So by using this information you are supposed to find out the total taxable income from house property of Sri Lakshmi. So let us solve the problem. Particulars amount amount is the format what we are supposed to follow. So here you can see computation of taxable income from most property for the assessment year two thousand twenty three twenty four. 
So house one, it is let out property. So gross annual value of house one is 16,000. So how we got this 16,000? So house one, only they had given you two values that is actual rent and the municipal value. Just compare these two, whichever is high. So which is the highest amount? 16,000. Then we'll take the 16,000 as the gross annual value. So that is how we got 16,000. So 16,000 less municipal tax paid by landlord. That means by Sri Lakshmi. So what is the municipal tax paid by Sri Lakshmi? Total municipal tax is 1,600 and paid by Lakshmi is 800. So deduct 800 rupees of municipal tax from 16,000. You will get the balance of 15,200 and that value is called annual value. Next less 30 percent of annual value under section 24 you will get 4,560. Deduct that amount from 15,200 you will get the balance of 10,640. The 10,640 is called income from house 1. Okay, income from first house or house 1. Next house 2, house 2 is self occupied that means it is occupied by Lakshmi itself there they are not receiving any you know rent. So annual value yes obviously always it will be nil and only we will be deducting interest on loan. What is the interest on loan given in the problem with respect to self occupied property? Yes it is 7000. So deduct that 7000 show the 7000 as loss from self occupied property. Next moving further. House 3 let out for residential purpose, there are 3 units. So gross annual value how much you got? 36,000. So how you got 36,000? Here you can see actual rent received is how much? 3,000 from all 3 you know units. So into 12 months total you will get 36,000 right? 36,000 and the municipal value of 30,000 whichever is high. So 36,000 or 30,000 whichever is high because we have only two you know items when you have only two items just compare whichever is high the highest value will be your gross annual value so 36 will be your gross annual value so 36,000 less municipal tax paid yes municipal tax paid is 3,000 it is mentioned in the problem next annual value how much you'll get you'll get 33,000 deduct 3 from 36 you'll get 33. So from this 33 less 30% 30 of annual value. Annual value is 33,000. So 33,000 into 30% how much you will get? You will get 9,900. Deduct it you will get the balance that is 23,000. So from that 23,000 minus minus 23,000 and add this 10,640 deduct loss from self-occupied property of 7,000 and you will get the balance of 26,740. So the 26,740 is called as income from house property of Miss Lakshmi for the year 2023-24. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problem if they give all mixed let out property and self-occupied property in the exam and they will be asking this question for 15 marks in the main exam that is uh, the concept of income from house property. So study well about this particular concept. It's very easy also. So with this, I'm going to wind up this session. I'll come up with few more new topics. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.